Hib stands for Haemophilus Influenza B, and that is a, an illness that is no longer around or very rarely, and one that I've never seen in, in my eight years now of being a, a pediatrician. In years past, lots of kids died from it and became very sick from it, and there were lots of ER visits for that, and if a child came in with suspected Hib causing uh, inflammation of the epiglottis or epiglottitis, then nobody would touch the child, they wouldn't examine the child, they would get the emergency room, uh, would get the operating room ready, and they would get the anesthesiologist ready to, to sedate the child, and the ear, nose, and throat specialist ready to protect the airway, because the the epiglottis would close off. If the child was disturbed in any way, the, the epiglottis was so enlarged already that it would just shut off in the child, and you could not get a breathing tube down into that child. The epiglottis is what, what covers, what helps us cover the airway when we're drinking. So it, so it, it is, um, it, and it, it's one of the things, as I said, I, I've never seen it. I've never seen a case of that. And during my training, they actually had an adult that we thought had it come into the emergency room, and the amount of people that came down to sort of see this was, was amazing. I hadn't seen that, that many people down in the ER. Just all these young uh, physicians training wanted to see uh, a, a case of this. And you say here in this practice, some of the older doctors or the doctors before you had, had patients die of this? Oh, patient, oh routinely. You know, die of it or be admitted for meningitis and therefore needing lots of antibiotics and, and lumbar and spinal taps. Um, some of my older colleagues, they spent half of their residency just admitting kids with, with Hib meningitis. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger. For more coverage, go to patriotledger.com.